There is an art to working with yarn, and today we're going to show you how it's done. Here with everything you need to know, Crayo Dyer, Kristen Oldak. Kristen, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So I got to be honest, I didn't even know this was a thing. Neither did I. I know. That you could dye yarn. Yeah. I thought you went to the hobby store, you picked up your yarn, and there were all the colors <laughs> there for you. But why do you, can you talk about why this is a thing and why this is so important? Yeah, you know, I think that people want a, um, some people want like a luxury, like a hobby Wrapped. Yeah. And I think that yarn uh, made out of like merino wool and alpaca and silk is, you know, kind of a luxurious thing to do as opposed to, you know, buying right from the big box store, which is still totally fine. But, you know, I think some people want to up their game a little. Totally. So yeah. this is like a, this is a luxury and... For sure. Okay. Yes. These, this is, you would find this in like, you know, yarn boutiques or, you know, little yarn shops around the country. So what kind of yarn in particular do you use? I use yarn mostly made from merino that is, or alpaca that also has the addition of silk in it. Okay. Um, so silk will make a really sturdy yarn that's great for sweaters and socks, something that you're going to get a lot of wear out of huh. that will last. And you're selling to, like you said, boutiques, but people people can also buy from you online. For sure, yeah. yeah they could go straight to my website. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so yeah. how does this work? Okay. You're, are you going to the alpaca farm and getting this? Or <laughs> how, where do you begin? Somebody goes to the alpaca farm yeah. for me. Okay, and okay. then they give me the bare skeins of yarn, and then yeah. I go ahead and I dye those skeins of yarn. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so, so when we walked up here, yeah. I was like, something stinks. <laughs> like, something smells. And she's like, it's, and I thought it was the dye, but you're saying it's the actual yeah. yarn. Yeah. Well, I mean, it came from a sheep. So it's, it's, it's true. you know, I, I mean, it know. gets clean and washed. Get in there, Marissa. Get in there. Immediately regrets. It gets scoured, but, yeah. you know, it still has a little bit of a smell. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It did come from an animal. You're right. Yeah. For okay. sure. For okay. sure. All right. Let's get yeah. to it. I want to okay, see. Okay. I'm going to show you. So, the first thing we want to do is pre soak this skein of yarn for about 15 minutes, which which I've already done. It's called a skein. A skein. A Some skein people say skein. Okay. It's, there's, it's spelled S -K -E -I -N, It's controversial. Right? Yeah. yeah it's, okay. Totally. <laughs> yeah. We're going sure. with what you tell us. Yes. yes. You're I say the winner. Skein. Yeah, okay. that's the winner. So the kind of dye that we're using is an acid dye, which sounds scary, but all it means is that this particular dye for animal fiber needs citric acid or another kind of acid like a vinegar to set to the yarn. Okay. So we're just gonna put about a tablespoon of citric acid in here. Did you really like chemistry? No, I got, <laughs> my amazing. mother will tell you that I yeah. failed chemistry <laughs> in high school. And look at you now. I know. I think she's Anything watching. Anything is possible. <laughs> so <funny. laughs> So we got citric acid, we got the yarn in here, we got, um, water and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these colors I brought in like a moody Valentine's Day Ooh. color so this is like a gray and we're just gonna pour it all around okay huh. right and then you're gonna take another color which is a nice little like purplish pinkish color and you pre-mixed these I've colors. I pre-mixed these yeah. colors because the dye comes in a powder form. Okay. And so you really need to mix these colors with a respirator on. And I didn't oh, want wow. us all wearing respirators yeah, on live television. You. That's the makeup up. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> always thinking about eyes, yeah. Kristen. Yeah, always. And then you're just gonna kind of, you know, zhuzh it around a little bit, okay, which is so a technical term. Two questions. One, how yes. long do you have to let this cook, if you will? And then okay, the second yes. question is, is, will all of that liquid be absorbed eventually? Yes. So huh. what we need to do now is we need to put this on a heat source and so that can be your stovetop it can be a hot plate whatever that looks like for you you want to cook it just under a simmer you do not want to boil you're this okay. your yarn. you're cooking the yarn and so you're just going to do under a simmer keep an eye on it you don't really want bubbles you yeah. just want to heat it and it needs to cook for about 35 to 45 minutes okay. you will know it's ready when you pick up the yarn and all of this color inside is gone. It has all binded to the yarn. And then you're gonna take it off the heat source, let it cool down to room temperature, and then you're gonna throw it in a sink with some soap and wash it, and that's where you get the smell out. Oh, <laughs> great. Good so yes. it does yep. go now. Yes. Perfect. You're gonna wash it, and then you're gonna wring it and throw it on the back of a chair to dry, and then you'll have your very own, you know, skein of yarn that you can knit with. Wow. That's really Yeah, cool. and so this color that I dyed for you today, I also dyed a couple days ago. Yeah. It looks like that in That's skein really form. And then I went ahead and knitted up a little swatch so you could see what it looked that like. That is beautiful. Do you ever just have no idea what's going to happen and what it's going to look like oh, in the end? Oh, that is like 80% yeah. of the color colorways huh. that I come with is all by mistake. 
And you got into this because you were a designer, right? I was, yeah. I first started off, I was making knitwear um, accessories and selling those to small boutiques around the country. And I got, you know, five years in and was 100,000 pom-pom hats and <laughs> burnt out. And I went to school for painting originally. And so I, um, you know, this was like a natural progression for me to like meld my two loves together. Are you still selling your items too then? Or just, are you straight no, up yarn? You're I'm straight, straight up yarn. yarn. Wow. I'm straight up yarn. That I make awesome. just for joy, not for, I not, not for sale. Um, all right, well, this has been very educational. <laughs> I have no idea this was yes. a thing. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yarn. Yes. Thank yes. you. It's all right, well, for more on Creo, head to creo.com. There it is right there, Kristen. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah. Thanks.